Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront Updates. By now most of you have hopefully seen the Star Wars Eclipse trailer that just premiered this night over at the Game Awards showing off Quantic Dream's brand new Star Wars game in collaboration with Lucasfilm. And in this video I want to go over all the details that they've released around the trailer because they also went live on their website StarWarsEclipse.com so I wanted to cover all those details as well as some stuff in the press kit and also make a very short trailer breakdown at least go over some of the parts I found to be really interesting and then in the coming days and weeks we can dissect every little detail but first of all this game is being made by Quantic Dream and I noticed a bit of controversy around the studio both because their games uh, are very story driven but also some allegations and abuse in their actual studio as well as by the studio founder so that makes me very hesitant and a little bit skeptical towards anything Quantic Dream makes but as for the game itself that's a different part to judge and and also something to note is that they've actually started a new studio in Montreal that will be working on this game together with the studio in Paris so hopefully all the issues that have been in the past they can work out in the new studio but again but it is always worrying when you hear about really bad work environments in these kind of studios but let's move on to all the details that we have about the game the game is set in the high republic 200 years before the movies and it's also set in an uncharted region of the outer rim and on the website they said the following a new action adventure multiple character branching narrative game set in the high republic era presented to you by quantic dream and lucasfilm games now in early development it lets you play as a diverse cast of charismatic characters each with their own story abilities and role to play in a tapestry of events that could alter the carefully balanced piece of the outer rim every decision you make can have dramatic repercussions on your journey the way of life in the outer rim being threatened and you must define your path so i found this really interesting both the fact that you will be able to play multiple characters with different stories different abilities and different complete events in this whole universe and on top of that the fact that decisions are actually gonna have an effect on your journey i wasn't sure if this was gonna be in the game i know that's something that quantic dream has done in the past but you know how lucasfilm are everything has to be canon and i don't think they're gonna go as far as to like have a character either die or not die depending on what you decide but maybe they are loosening up a little bit on what's canon and not in this game or these decisions they talk about might just be smaller things like what kind of lightsaber you pick or maybe what which companion you're gonna have or something like that but that's obviously too early to say because this is in very early development so i would be surprised if this game came out earlier than 2023 or something like that but those are all the details that they actually released uh, outside of the trailer and they've got some really cool screenshots up on their website as well and you can also sign up for the newsletter but when it comes to the trailer i thought it was really good and i wanted to just basically do a very quick short breakdown of some of the stuff i noticed like first of all obviously we've got this brand new race drumming throughout the entire trailer in this like epic room and at the end it reveals a character coming out of some type of black goo maybe that could be one of the main characters or the antagonist and i'm also not sure what the whole eclipse has to do with the whole setting because obviously they're showing a sun going into an eclipse during the trailer so maybe that's gonna be some sith stuff or honestly i have no idea also we get to see yoda in the jedi temple looking over coruscant i don't think we're gonna play as yoda but obviously he's gonna be in the game somehow and i actually thought that if there's one character that we know that could actually be in this game it could be yoda so i was pretty surprised to see him there we also get to see this protocol droid that looks a little bit like c-3po obviously it's not c-3po but but a droid of a similar model and maybe a similar personality who knows also epic lightsaber duel in the sunset as well as a blue and yellow lightsaber wielder fighting together against some type of horde of enemies also badass looking army marching potentially also a new race not really sure it's hard to piece together how these different factions and characters fit together we also get to see a lucre hulk ship space battle looking straight out of the clone wars as well as a nemodian being shown so maybe the trade federation will be a big part of this game and maybe one of the factions that will be involved in the story we also get to see the speed bike driving off in the sunset while showing a new type of creature and one of the planets here look very similar to naboo although i don't think it's naboo because this is supposed to be in the outer rim but very similar similar aesthetic to naboo here i also get to see this as looks a bit like 
uh, like most icely, but obviously there's a lot of sand planets in Star Wars, so it could really be any planet. And this Duros looks a lot like the Duros in Battlefront 2, so I think they probably borrowed DICE Duros model for this character, which obviously makes a lot of sense since DICE made some pretty high quality models. But I think overall this looks really good and I'm super stoked to see what this game is going to turn out to be. Hopefully the studio will sort out all its internal issues and this game will turn out to be an amazing story driven game that hopefully looks as good as in trailer or at least close to it as that would be incredible because I already thought Fallen Order and Battlefront 2 looked amazing so this looks even like a step up from that which I didn't think was possible but over the next couple of weeks months years I will cover all the details we can find and I will also gonna make a bit more of a long in-depth breakdown of this trailer the coming week and maybe see if I can find some more snippets of information around uh, the internet that can give us a bit more clarity what we're actually gonna see in this game. But for now, thank you very much for watching and as always, may the force be with you.